This is a very professional show, <laughs> a very professional show on a very professional channel and the very professional internet. The internet is only the professionalism, nothing else. Only. Yeah. Only. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what are we talking about today? Um, are we talking about a movie? Movie? We what? are. We're talking about ongaku, our sound. The, the, the brand spanking new release from G Kids. <laughs> wow, this is one of our worst <laughs> intros ever. It's gonna be one of our best intros. <laughs> it's gonna get the 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 the, the, the pacha. It, it's gonna have the <clears throat> sign the of approval. Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> exactly. So today we're talking about the movie Ongaku, our sound, which was a labor of love for almost a decade. Uh, mm. It is an animation, an anime, as the kids are calling it, uh, <laughs> directed by Kenji. Uh, Iwaisawa, and uh, he he and some other folks spent seven and a half years making this movie, and it shows. It shows. Holy smoke! <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes. Before receiving the opportunity to cover this movie, neither of us had heard of it. Neither of us mm -hmm. knew anything about it. We were going into it pretty much completely blind. Mm -hmm. In a nutshell, what the movie is is a group of delinquents in high school decide to start a band and eventually play at a rock festival with their band. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much that's, it. That's... There's there's a little bit of hijinks mm -hmm. between like a rival gang, but yeah. what did you think? Um, I love this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was going along like okay okay this is this is quirky this is funny I like it the 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 t timing and the pacing on the comedy it's very it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it, it also gets the pacha, but by the end of the movie, there's something like profound in how dumb this movie is. Does that you make mean, sense? You mean plot-wise, like story-wise? No, like... no. Like it touches something in your soul, and it awakens a phoenix of creativity. <laughs> I definitely, I get where you're coming from. This movie hit me in ways I was not expecting it to hit me. Yes. And But I, it definitely had nothing to do with the story for me. No. It no. did it for you? Not really. Okay. No. The, I, do, I do like the idea of a bunch of outside artists coming together and creating something that's yeah. appreciated. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because it's very, like, Punk. I mean, because it, it's a basic, it's a bunch of kids yeah. who don't know how to play their instruments. Yeah. Just like, let's start yeah. a band. And then other people hear their music and they're like, oh my gosh, this is doing something to me that I can't quantify. Yes. Um, and that's basically what the movie is in itself. Is it's the the movie is to the audience like the music is to everybody who hears it in the movie. <sighs> <laughs> um, what did you think? What did you think? I really like this. Yeah, it was like one of those things where we started watching it and I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> and it was. And it ended up being interesting in a way that was like, I could watch this again and again. Like, it, there's really not a lot of substance to it. Not really. Like, in terms of the plot and everything. I mean, I, I, I'm sure somebody could look at this movie and be like, oh, I'm going to like look at these different theories and pull this out, you know, of like this is how it is this in different ways, you know, mm -hmm. like the symbolism here or the the archetypes here. Like I'm sure right. you could you could do a lot with this movie, I think, because of its simplicity. Oh yeah. I, I think that lends itself to a lot of different interpretations. Mm -hmm. But oh my gosh. The way this movie was made. <laughs> It's mind blowing. As somebody who dabbles in art from time to time, like just the amount of effort that was put into creating this film is just like astounding. Because mm -hmm. here's the thing: is that this movie has a really, really striking visual style. Absolutely. Even if you're not fully engaged in the plot or anything like that, and even if you're not really into animation. You can like you can recognize that there's something going on visually in this movie, mm -hmm. and, and I will I will say like not the whole the whole movie is not pretty. No, no, but that's part of it. That's yeah. part of that's part of the like aesthetic of it mm -hmm. is how wildly it shifts um, 
visual style and oh, with God. with tone and like how experimental it gets. Yes. At different points. Uh, and I guess that's that's a good way to go into on this release. There's there's a bunch of extra stuff, but one thing there's a whole there's a second movie on this release essentially. It truly, yeah, it's it's a documentary. It's, yeah, I mean about the making the seven and a half years that it took to make. Mm-hmm. And watching the movie, not knowing the full backstory, you're like, there's something going on here. There's this is this is really really unique in a way that like I've never I've never seen another movie like this before. Yes. And then you watch yes. the documentary and it explains why it's like that. And I mean, after watching it, I have a completely new appreciation for <laughs> the amount of effort that went into this movie. Yes, yes. So this entire movie is completely hand drawn. Yes. Um, they do use rotoscope, which we while we were watching it, we were discussing. We were like, "Is this rotoscope? Mm -hmm. Like, is like we we thought it was, but it it didn't have that. You know how things that are rotoscoped, like you can like almost sense the film nature, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of the things that are rotoscoped, but then animated in in a computer. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, from my understanding of what they did was they they did all the rotoscope filming, and then they took each and every individual frame and hand drew each and every individual frame. So yes, it's rotoscoped, but it's like in a completely different way than how rotoscoping is usually done. Right. That's my understanding. That's that's my understanding as well. Um, because I remember towards the beginning of the documentary when they're, they were just starting the project back in like 2012, mm -hmm. the director says something about how Everybody relies on computer animation nowadays, uh -huh. whether yeah. it's for the drawing or the coloring or whatever. And so you can get that kind of look anywhere. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to create something <clears throat> that was true to the manga upon which this was based mm -hmm. in being completely unique, essentially. G getting, getting a type of movie that you can't get anywhere else. And that really shows in how the rotoscoping was done. Mm -hmm. And also how, as far as it looked in the documentary, they didn't use cell animation, so every frame, the entire frame was redrawn, including the backgrounds. Oh my gosh, yes. Which is just like, <laughs> when you see it, there's an entire sequence that's filmed outside on a stage, and it like it's different camera angles and different, like, um, people are moving, everybody on stage is moving, and it's like, like head-banging kind of moving. It's a rock concert, so... It, it said something about how for one particular scene, I think it was like 400 different frames, it's um, somebody's hair. And actually yeah. that wasn't even on stage, that was a different a different scene, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, and each individual frame took an hour to complete. Yes, yeah. So it's just, and I feel like while watching the movie, I kept like pausing and being like, this is, good like yeah like the the art like it's in in the in those moments you know when it when it gets really big you know and it's not just the the line drawings which are still good because it, oh, yeah. it's very crisp and it very is. clean and like i really like the way they animated it specifically it's very fluid and like it's like all the um the keyframes are just done so well but when you get to those really intense scenes that are more like I don't know even how to like a, like a pencil sketch, but then like mm -hmm. brought to life, like I don't really know how to describe it. Uh, it's not like anything I've ever seen before. They're good. They're, They're so good. good. And like I want to watch it again because mm -hmm. I it, like was because while I was watching it, I was like, I kept looking at Eli. I was like, how did they do this? Mm -hmm. And that's why I really appreciate this release because it you had the movie, you had the feature. And then you have almost an entire um, documentary that it's it's almost as long as the feature itself explaining how they did it. Right. Because while watching it, it was just like, I wanted to know, I wanted more information. And I, I got that on this release. And that was just, that was awesome to me. Yeah. That like I was able yeah. to learn more with just the one thing. <laughs> right, right. And in addition, in addition to the documentary, that's not, that's not the only like, oh yeah extra thing there's a included. lot there's a lot on this there are 
I think four, four, four yeah. other earlier short films done by the same director. Because as far as I understand it, this was his first feature length mm -hmm. uh, film. And they were cute. And they're good. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're also really, really good. Mm -hmm. I really liked the one with the TV. I think that was I my like favorite. I yeah. yeah. I like the, the mountain one. Oh, oh they're, my gosh. They're all very weird. Oh, the mountain one is another great example mm -hmm. of it's all hand drawn mm -hmm. and like there's this scene where it's somebody walking on a mountain and there's a bunch of trees and yep. then the entire like it's hard to explain in animation but it's like the frame pans out yeah. right and then it like pans out to the to the big mountain mm -hmm. and it, the, then the mountain is covered in trees and while watching it I didn't think about the fact that every single frame had to be redrawn. Right. With the, all of the images, individual right. lines and everything, mm -hmm. just a tiny bit smaller. And I, yeah, like, I think that was like a hundred different frames. Something like something that. Something like that. Yeah. Like, it's just the fluidity of it is. It's impressive. It's, it's impressive. It's, yeah. It blew my mind, honestly. Like, it blew my mind while watching it. Mm -hmm. But because I didn't understand it completely, I, I, I think I didn't like grasp the immensity of the task that had been taken, undertaken. And then watching how it was done, it just like, yeah, it, it like shattered it's, my reality. <laughs> yeah. So honestly, this, uh, like, I don't know about you. I can't recommend this highly enough. I think, I think <laughs> it's, well, okay. I think anybody who appreciates film, who yes. appreciates animation, definitely, who appreciates art and mm -hmm. like, I, I don't, I, do I dare to say avant-garde? I mean, in, in a way. In a way. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I think, I think absolutely. And I, I think most of you all would probably enjoy this because I yeah. think a lot of you are really like movie enthusiasts mm -hmm. and that's why you're here. I think the casual movie goer, maybe not so much. They probably still at least get like a laugh out of it because of yeah. how comedic it is. <laughs> There's a lot of funny. comedy. Oh, we were rolling. That but, one part we had to pause because Eli had to leave the room. He was laughing so hard. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, it's, this, this is one of the funniest movies we watched in a while. It was good. It, it's, it's and, but it's it's kind of like deadpan humor. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's different. I do think the the plot in and of itself isn't enough to keep the like casual movie goer focused mm -hmm. the entire like the animation really builds upon itself like it, it starts out so simple and then it just builds and builds yes. and builds and and at the by, climax, and at the climax the... it's just like whoa <laughs> like did i just watch like film like what did i just watch right, uh, right. yeah yeah um i think everybody should experience it yes. i don't think everybody will appreciate the experience that they have i would agree with that it's great. the whole set is good the whole, like everything you get in this set is just it's so worth it because it's it's a really it's a complete package yeah yeah definitely yeah. it almost sounds like we're sponsored but we're super not. No, we're not we're not like we we get review copies for free but we don't get paid to do any of this mm -hmm. otherwise you'd see the paid advertisement yeah. thing yeah no like but just genuinely like, i think this was just really that good probably of all the stuff that we've gotten from g kids in the past couple of years this is the thing that i might recommend the highest so far I, yeah. yeah yeah that's what i mean yeah, uh, yeah. Of, of what we've gotten so far yeah. this might be this was, the release i would recommend the highest this was cool yeah i guess if i had this like if i'm like all right of, of all the things that we've covered mm -hmm. get this one yeah. <laughs> like yeah this it's, yeah. it's <laughs> yes it's good don't get it for the story though. I no, no. I can't stress that enough. But I mean, the story is good in and of itself, but it's very simple. But mm -hmm. the work of art that it is. Yes. It's... And the comedy. And the, <laughs> and the comedy. Let's not sell the comedy short. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah. I agree. If you all have seen Ongaku, our sound, what did you think of it? Uh, what do you think of any of the director's other work? Because, mm -hmm. uh, I, like I said, a bunch of it's included on here in the form of short films. Mm -hmm. Um. And what other crazy, crazy animation like this have you seen that we might not have seen yet? Mm. Besides Princess Kaguya, because we have absolutely seen that, and okay. that okay. absolutely that's, blew our that's, minds. That's, so. a, that's a pacha right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> throw, throw that pacha up on screen. I'm, I'm not actually going to use our video at all. It's just going to be that It's just going to be image. pacha. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. just pacha. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just it's a good ending. Yeah. yeah. I mean, pachas. Yeah. Pachas. Yeah. <laughs>